Kyle Sussums goes by the online name Big Bear. Yo, He's a prolific poster on TikTok. Thank you for the 450,000 followers. Let's keep it going. You are my bear cubs. Rawr. Many of his videos involve him talking about sex. The average person has sex 54 times a year. When girls are ovulating, it kind of creates a love potion effect on both sexes. And it's issues related to sex that got him in trouble with Texas regulators. Last March, the Texas Behavioral Health Executive Council suspended his license as a marriage and family counselor. They found that he sent explicit text messages and pictures and videos to a client and practiced with an expired license for almost seven months. He's not worthy of his profession and he's a danger. That client was her then 22-year-old daughter. She asked that her face not be shown to protect the identity of her daughter. When you go in for counseling, you're vulnerable. She confided in him. She shared with him things that made her feel vulnerable and stressed. She says Sesums followed her daughter on Snapchat and began messaging about his personal life. She provided screenshots of the messages to us. I don't think that my daughter was aware when he added her to Snapchat that that was inappropriate because it started so benign. Eventually, the messages turned sexual with him asking what she was wearing and then crudely asking if she wanted to see a video of him masturbating. She had her boyfriend with her at the time, and the boyfriend was like, just tell him yeah. And because he wanted to, you know, and it, it, had, it had crossed the line already. So she said yeah, and he did. Her daughter recorded the video and turned it over to police. The detective assigned to the case noted, I spoke with the suspect and he lawyered up. I spoke with the victim and she described the disturbing course of events that led to Kyle Sesum sending a Snapchat of himself masturbating. Police concluded that since her daughter consented to the sending of the video, no criminal charges would be filed. But for Texas regulators, the issue of consent didn't matter. That's really irrelevant because it's up to the licensee to know that that is unacceptable regardless of which side initiates it. Sussums agreed to an order suspending his license for four years. As part of the deal, he did not admit to the findings that he sent sexually explicit messages to a client. Sesums did agree to undergo therapy and professional development related to boundaries. Sesums' suspension could be lifted as soon as this spring if his therapist agrees he's fit to practice marriage and family therapy. The thought of him getting his license back and being able to independently practice scares me. I don't want anyone to have to go through what my daughter went through. The former client's mom reached out to us in December after we aired a story about a different counselor who was suspended. We went to ask Sesums if he's still seeing clients even though he's suspended by the state from doing so. I'm with Channel 8, and I heard, now are you, are you a therapist here? No, I'm not. Okay. What we're trying to find out though, uh, again, is if you're seeing patients at this point. I've already answered that question. And you're saying, your answer is... I'm not doing any work under the guise of a therapist. I'm not a therapist. Investigative producer Mark Smith asked Sussums about the order suspending his license. Whatever information you guys are trying to gather is probably pretty inaccurate on some things that, from what I know. We returned nine days later to find out if clients were in to see Sussums for therapy. Hey, were you here to see Kyle Sussums? Yeah. We're working on a story about him. Is he your therapist? He is. How long have you been seeing him? About a year now. Do you know he's suspended from being a therapist? No. We showed him a copy of the council's order suspending Sesum's license. This is <laughs> it's just a shock to me, you know. So are you planning to continue seeing Kyle Sussums? Uh, probably not. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Um, I guess look for a new therapist. We spoke with another client who did not want to talk on camera. He too said he had seen Sesums for therapy. Now it was time to talk to Sesums again. Mr. Sesums, hi, I'm Tanya Eiser with Channel 8. How are you? I, I, I have no comment. Are you sure? Because we've spoken with a couple of people this morning who say that you're still seeing them as a therapist. I'm not. So why do people think you're a therapist? I have no comment. The parents of the second client told us their son, now a young adult, saw Sesums as a child and then went several years with no therapy before restarting in the fall of 2023. 
They told us after they found out his license had been suspended, they immediately canceled all future sessions, and that he then told them he was a life coach, not a therapist. In a statement, they told us there were plenty of opportunities and conversations we have with Kyle that he could have made clear he was no longer a therapist. It is shameful that we were not provided with the truth up front by someone we trusted. I think that's some pretty damning evidence, and that is something that we would certainly take a very hard look at uh, if that were provided to us. The council's executive director, Daryl Spinks, said he couldn't comment on what would happen in this case but told us an individual licensed by the council can't get around the board's order by calling himself a life coach or something similar. We look and see, what are you actually doing? Because you could call it anything. I mean, you could, you know, whatever. You could call it cutting the grass. But if you're still practicing marriage and family therapy, then I don't care what you call it. Uh, you're breaking the law. In a statement, Sesum's attorney said the agreed order from the Texas Behavioral Health Executive Council speaks for itself and Mr. Sessoms is complying with the terms of the agreed order. Due to patient privacy and other confidentiality concerns, Mr. Sessoms is unable to provide any further comment at this time. I cannot understand why the executive council has not said, enough is enough, you violated what we've told you that you need to abide by and revoke his license. The mother of the client who got those Snapchat messages says her daughter now sees a female therapist. There's a little piece of her that's been destroyed that can't be given back, no matter what. This morning, Sussums posted a statement to his TikTok account writing, later today, I'll be taking a break from TikTok. I need to take some time for my own mental health and personal life. Please make better decisions than I have and be careful who you allow in your life. Don't stop trying to improve and show love to those who are important to your life. Thank you for so much love and support over the years. Tomorrow on Daybreak, I'll walk you through how you can check your therapist's background.